Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will understand durability which is from ACID model and this is from basics of system design. I would like to announce about our live training programs, data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose. If you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company, this is the best curriculum you can ever join. I'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and I will help you clear all your doubts in the one-on-one -on -one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in now how to define durability we can define it in multiple ways something which can continue to be used without getting damaged like if i talk about the durability of materials toys or even your mobile phone we can think about it how difficult it is to break them right so this can be one type of definition for durability another type of definition can be continuing without failing so this can be something in terms of a promise which is durability of a promise or an agreement or even a ceasefire so how long lasting can be your promise or how long lasting can be an agreement in terms of databases durability is the acid property which guarantees that the effect of transactions that have been committed will survive permanently even in case of failures including the catastrophic events like your system may crash or even a power failure may happen. One such example is let's say we are uh, booking a movie ticket. So if the ticket has been booked then it should remain booked even if the system failure happens. So in such situation we will say that the system is durable but if after booking something happens to the system and uh, later it shows that your ticket hasn't been booked then the system is said to be non-durable. A database system ensures the durability property if it can tolerate the three types of failures. One such failure is the transaction failure. If the execution of a transaction is interrupted before all its operations have been processed by the system, then it belongs to the transaction failure category. One such failure scenario can be uh, when you are filling up a form and uh, you do some wrong data entry. Like uh, if the age was getting asked and it expects an integer number from let's say 10 to 99 and we are putting an integer number of let's say 105 or we are trying to put a string then it will show a data entry error. Let's say in a banking system if we have opened a website and we are not doing anything for some time then it will automatically log out so it will log out because of a timeout right. And even in a banking system, if we are trying to transfer fund, let's say we have $200 in our fund balance and uh, we are trying to transfer $500 to our friend, then it will be an error because we do not have sufficient balance, right? So this will also be a transaction failure because it is not getting carried out. Then another type of failure can be system failure. If the contents of a volatile storage like your RAM are lost due to system crashes, so if your system crashes and if you had uh, saved your transaction in the RAM or some something in the RAM, since it is volatile, everything will be lost, right? One such scenario can be out of memory events which can lead to system failure. One technique by which you can recover all your data is by using logs and we may, can maintain log in the persistent storage like a hard disk. So whenever something happens in the RAM then you can immediately write it uh, in the log file which is maintained in a persistent storage right so in that case even if a system failure happens we can recover back our data or the transaction which have already been done now another type of failure can be media failure and uh, this is error caused by defects on the read write interfaces of storage devices such as the hard disk and these type of failures are very hard to detect how can we uh, get rid of all these type of failures is we can maintain replication of the hard disk and uh, we can also try to follow the RAID configuration. I'll upload video about RAID configuration in future. Now let us look at the straight transition associated with any possible transaction. Let's say we are carrying out a transaction and it is currently in the running state. Now what can happen to this transaction? We have seen three type of failures either it passes and it is fine but in case of failure one type of failure can be a transaction failure right so in case of a transaction failure our transaction will go to the aborted state and from the aborted state it will undo all the uncommitted transaction and again 
uh, try to restart and move back to the running state right so this is for the transaction failure if a system failure happens then your entire transaction will have to be restarted and what happens is it will read the log file from the persistent storage from the last safe state from the last consistent state and uh, once it has read uh, those entire log file the transaction will be ready for recovery now even in case of the system failure some of the transactions may have already been committed and it is done so as i mentioned earlier we will maintain the committed transactions in the log files right which is in the persistent storage like hard disk so when we are ready for recovery then we will uh, read the committed transaction and we will redo all the committed transactions so that the committed transaction should not be lost like i gave the example that when we have booked the ticket successfully it should not be shown as empty i mean it was never booked in future right so now once all the committed transactions have been uh, redone that we have read uh, redid all the committed transaction then we will be at the aborted state at this state all the uncommitted transactions have to be removed because they never committed and hence their effect should not be durable it should not be present in your uh, hard disk so or we will undo all the committed transaction and again we will go back to the running state the third type of failure was the media failure so in a media failure we will go to the halt state and from there we will restore the data from dump which is maintained in the hard disk backup as i said and then we will again go to the restart state and again the same entire th flow will uh, follow like we will read the log from the safe state from the hard disk and then uh, we will go to the uh, ready for recovery state uh, then we will redo the committed transaction and undo all the uncommitted transaction and move back to the running state so this entire figure is a finite state automation showing the state transitions for failure cases of a transaction. Are you ready to take your programming skills to the next level? Well, you are at the right place. Welcome to our data structures and algorithms live interview training program, Interview Dose. Get ready to dive deep into the world of efficient coding and problem solving. In Interview Dose, you will get a solid understanding of key data structures such as array, stack, queue, heap, trees. And along with that, you will also master powerful algorithms based on maths, geometry, graph, and dynamic programming. What sets interview doors apart from other courses is the live interactive format. You won't just be watching the pre-recorded sessions, but you will join me along with other passionate learners in real time where we will be covering the concepts together. Imagine having the opportunity to ask questions, engage in discussion, and collaborate with your fellow learners. It's a supportive community where we all grow together. But it doesn't stop there. We will dive into hands-on coding exercises solving real-world problems and you will get to work with the interview assignments that will showcase your newfound expertise. Taking interview dose has already been a game changer for a lot of students and working professionals. It didn't just help them to improve their coding skills but also boosted their confidence for tackling complex problems. The live interactive sessions make all the difference. Unlock your coding potential by taking the first step forward. Contact us on WhatsApp for more details. I hope you were able to understand this. Please like and share our video and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.